What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So back in February, I did a review of the Nvidia Shield TV and I figured it's been a long time since I last talked about this device and actually in one of my previous videos, I recommended that if you are gonna go bin shopping on Black Friday to definitely consider picking one of these up. So I thought it would be justice to go ahead and talk about some of the real awesome features that this device actually offers that none of its competition does. So let me tell you why you guys absolutely need to get an Nvidia Shield TV and why it's by far one of the best streaming players that you can buy on the market today, coming up. So, as I mentioned, let's jump into some of the cool features that the Shield offers right off of the bat. So one of the cool things about this is once you plug this in and hook everything up, you essentially have access to a plethora of different DVR and cable types of apps. And essentially what I mean is you're able to load, you know, all kinds of different apps such as like Fandango, HBO Now, Google Play Movies, even your favorite apps if you're trying to live like a very cord cutting lifestyle. And me personally, I don't have a cable TV subscription or Dish Network or any type of real cable TV coming into my home. I actually rely on PlayStation View, which is an app that I use to stream different channels and different things that I want according to the package that me and my wife prefer. Now the Nvidia Shield lets me access that app on this device and it's blazing fast as well. So if you're a video file and you want all kinds of apps like the ones I mentioned, you have access to literally hundreds of different apps that are available on the Nvidia Shield and it basically turns any TV in your house into a smart TV. Now some smart TVs like some of the older Samsung ones don't necessarily have all of those different apps that you would want to use like Sling TV for example being one of them and even PlayStation View. None of the Samsung TVs in my house that are from back in 2015 or 16, the initial smart ones have that. So it's understandable that if you don't have one of the latest and greatest like Android TVs that doesn't have some of the apps, this is definitely gonna change that for you and it'll make any TV in your home into a smart TV. Now, aside from the video stuff, there's a bunch of audio apps that are supported on the Shield as well. You get access to Spotify, Pandora, and iHeartRadio just to name a few off the bat, but for all of you audiophiles out there, the Shield's got you covered. And if that wasn't enough, another cool thing that this offers is that you have the ability to pass through Dolby Atmos 7.1 or 5.1 through the HDMI. So if you do have a soundbar system that supports that, the Nvidia Shield is not gonna block it, it's actually gonna enable the different content that you're viewing to support that functionality. Now, aside from the obvious stuff, like the different apps and stuff you can load, if anyone's been familiar with the Android operating systems, you know what basically you can do with this. So the Shield isn't really any different in terms of getting the apps that you want to use on a TV. So all that stuff is included. Now one of the really cool features that sets the Nvidia Shield TV apart from most of its competition is that you can actually use this to control all the different smart devices in your home. Now out of the box, it doesn't have that functionality. You do need to get a separate dongle made by Samsung. It's called the SmartThings Link. And using this will let you basically connect your Shield to like a hub and spoke system of the different smart devices in your house and you're able to control you know, your lights, you're able to control the thermostat if you have one that's smart, or your Wi-Fi security cameras, a whole bunch of devices are pretty much accessible through the Shield at that point. Now, I kinda struggled a little bit with this when I had to set everything up, so I'm gonna save you guys some of the effort and just kinda tell you how quick and easy this really can be if you do it the right way. So all you really do is you take that dongle that I mentioned, you plug it into a USB port. Most preferably, it comes with an included extension cable. And the point of this is so that when you plug it into the back of the shield, if you have another USB device, the actual USB uh, smart links thing is a little bit thicker than a standard USB, so it can kind of clutter up the back and potentially you won't be able to fit another USB cable in there. So using the extension allows you to have space for that. Plus it also makes sure that you're not getting any kind of interference with the device itself. But once you plug the smart links device inside to your shield, you're going to be presented with a initial setup screen, which is going to prompt you to download the Samsung smart links app onto the shield. 
Downloading the app is really straightforward and setting it up is also very straightforward. All you gotta do is make sure that you have the app also loaded onto your phone. Once you have it on your phone and on the Shield, you pair them together with the code that's presented on the screen and you're pretty much good to go from there. At this point, you're able to connect your Shield to the different devices in your house. Now, Google Assistant is key and that's another really cool thing that's inside the Shield that you don't get in other streaming players. Google Assistant, if any of you guys have ever used that on your smartphone, whether you have an iPhone or if you have an Android device, Google Assistant lets you basically voice dictate what you want it to do, whether it comes from checking the weather or um, turning on a light or turning off a light or you know basically controlling any of the smart things in your home. Now that you'll have the smart links device connected to the Shield, it's gonna actually let the inbuilt Google Assistant within your Shield communicate with all those devices. So in other words, this is like bridging your smart home with the Shield. And without this, even though you have Google Assistant built in, you won't be able to do that. Now, personally to me, I find this to be one of the most useful features. I tend to use it quite a bit when me and my wife sit down to watch a movie and one of us just forgets to flip the lights. So we'll occasionally just pick up the controller, tell it, hey, go ahead and turn off the lights and boom, it turns the light off. So for me, it's a good feature and I definitely think that you guys should consider this when you're picking up a new Shield. Now, another one of my most favorite things about the Shield is the gaming aspect of this. So out of the box, you get access to literally hundreds of AAA titles via GeForce Now. And GeForce Now is a subscription-based service which is currently free right now for anyone who owns a Shield. And they do have a beta going on for people who have a PC or a Mac where you can access it. And essentially, it lets you access a bunch of PC games, whether they're free, so you have a bunch of options that are free, and you can get games that you've paid for. So for example, if you've paid for, let's say, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and that's in part of your Steam collection, you're actually able to access it via GeForce Now and have a full-on gaming session. And I'm, I'm not trying to downplay this at all, guys. You can access high quality graphics at 1080p resolution, 60 frames per second, I'm talking ultra resolution, and you will not feel any kind of lag, granted, depending on your internet speed and your internet connection. Now, during my testing, I've always had this wired in and I wasn't really using it on Wi-Fi, but for the sake of this video, I did test it in a five gigs Wi-Fi connection to see if it would make any difference. And to be honest, there wasn't any noticeable difference or lag between switching from a five gigs connection to a wired connection or vice versa. Now, it's really convenient that you're able to pick up a game, you know, if you're playing on your PC where you left off and just hop onto the Shield, load it up on there, and it's instantaneous. And you're actually able to carry on that game right from where you left off, as I mentioned. Now, if that's not enough for you, of course, you get access to a whole bunch of different Android apps that you can cast onto your TV as well. And there's a bunch of games, like I mentioned, that are included free, and some of them are pretty good titles, like the original Tomb Raider and Just Cause 2, for example. Those ones are good. I've done a pretty detailed review on GeForce Now, so if you guys wanna check that out, you can definitely click on the link up here, and it'll take you to my video on the GeForce Now review. Those two things are great. So you get access to games that you've paid for, and you get access to games that are free. Now the other thing, the third part, and you thought, wow, that sounds like a lot, right? The third part is that NVIDIA offers GameStream. Now GameStream is very, very, very cool, guys. If you have a computer kind of like the one that I have back there that has an NVIDIA graphics card in it, you can essentially stream whatever's on your computer on your shield. And it works flawlessly, guys. There is not a noticeable lag between playing from your PC and streaming it over to the Shield. Now, again, if you have a wired connection, it's gonna work a lot better than doing it over Wi-Fi. And the other cool thing that this lets you access is you'll be able to access 4K resolutions if your PC can actually output that. So if you have a graphics card like an NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti and you're able to play games in 4K resolution, you're able to stream that and play that on your 4K TV. So just imagine being able to go from, let's say like a 32 inch screen there to a big 65 inch screen and use the included controller and all the buttons and everything get mapped accordingly. It's a very, very seamless experience. So I think NVIDIA did an excellent job, not just letting people want to use this device to just stream movies or music, but there's a huge gaming aspect for that, right? And we shouldn't be surprised it's NVIDIA, guys. NVIDIA loves to do gaming stuff. That's their core of their brand, making gaming graphic cards and stuff to support gamers. So there's no surprise there that this has a very good package for 
people who want to do kind of gaming. I would almost go as far as say that if you're not a very, very heavy gamer, you're a casual gamer, you probably don't even need to look at an Xbox or a PlayStation 4. Maybe a Shield would be perfect enough for your needs based on what it offers at the price point that it's coming in at as well. So if all the features that I told you weren't enough, here's something really cool about Shield as well. Nvidia is constantly updating it. They've pushed out over 20 updates for this specific shield. And basically what that tells me as a consumer is that this company is really vested into their device that they've produced. They care about their consumer base that's purchasing it. They're constantly putting updates to improve the different features that are available and the different performance aspect or capabilities of it. So like the GeForce Now update for where you can stream games, that was part of an actual update. And another cool thing that you can do with this, if you're one of those people that likes to stream or you like to record your gameplay and share with people in your community, you can do that directly from the Shield. You don't need a capture card, there's actually built-in DVR functionality within the Shield, and it actually lets you choose whether you wanna go from a low quality to medium or high or even ultra. And I've played around with it quite a bit, and actually some of the footage that I've shown you guys throughout this video came directly captured from the Shield itself. I'm overall very, 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 very impressed with the Nvidia Shield. I've been using this since the last time I reviewed. I've had the original one from back in 2015. It's been three years going strong with Shield. It, there's been no device that I've used so far that comes even close to taking over this guy's spot. And you know, the fact that you can use the Samsung Smart Link with it just made this an overall really easy sell for me. And I think anyone who's looking to purchase a new streaming player, again guys, it's Black Friday season, we're near the holidays, you're about a week away, there's plenty of sales going on. And I know for a fact that Best Buy has a pretty good incentive going on for the, the Nvidia Shield throughout the holidays. Do consider picking one up. The Shield TV is a phenomenal streaming player that offers a bunch of different features for video buffs, gaming buffs, and audio buffs. If that's not enough to sell you guys, I really don't know what else is out there that can compete with the Nvidia Shield. Personally, for me, the biggest sell was being able to access my PC in every different room wherever I take the Shield, and actually being able to use GeForce Now. I'm a big gaming person. If any of you guys have been following my channel, you know that I love to game, and that's been you know one of the things that's core about this channel when you come and try and see my content. So other than that, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I really want you guys to consider this when you're going out to make a purchase again there's just so many cool things you can do with this device it's totally worth the price tag of 199 dollars and it's even more sweet when you get it on sale so definitely act upon those sales that are coming up like i mentioned but other than that i hope this was useful for you if you guys like my content go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and until then guys i will see you on my next video